The disconnection drive by the Water and the Sewerage Authority, or WASA, has been cancelled. Line Minister Marvin Gonzalez said the decision last week to begin disconnecting customers with outstanding arrears was not made by the board of WASA or him personally, but rather the management of WASA. So they should have um, gone to the board and, um, and, and seek the necessary approval, especially given the fact that we are in the midst of a global pandemic and water is essential in, in, in this fight. All right, the, the access to water, you, you, we, we're encouraging citizens to wash their hands, etc. So therefore, any disconnection drive in the, in the midst of a pandemic, I think it is one that you have to be extremely careful about. The disconnection drive was shut down after two days as crowd gathered outside Wasser's payment facilities in breach of the public health regulations. Minister Gonzalez stressed that the collection of water rates are an operational matter which falls within the purview of management. It's a matter for the management of WASA. It is regarded as an operational matter. The Minister of Public Utilities certainly cannot direct the management of WASA to go and cut any um, or disconnect any particular citizen in whatever area as the case may be. These are the, the normal day-to-day -day functions of, of management, and you expect management to manage. And Minister Gonzalez was speaking on TTT's Now Morning Show.